Welcome back to part three. We are so proud of you and we're so excited about all the progress that we've already made and there is more to come. So let's dig into pages 16 through 21 in one year power sheets and 14 through 17 in 90 day power sheets. It shouldn't be a surprise to anyone that this is our favorite video. We're going to talk about the big picture. We're going to talk about legacy and we're pumped. So let's get started. If you're using one year power sheets, turn over to page 16 and 17. 90 day users, this is one of the spreads we removed from your prep work to slim it down a bit. So feel free to skip ahead a little if you want to. Now these pages are all about the long game, the big picture, and that's the heart of what we do here at Cultivate and in your power sheets. Uncovering what matters to you is the most important step in goal setting. It's your why, the thing that will propel you forward, and it's the destination you're moving toward. Get excited. This is gonna be good. Once again, let's remember to kick comparison to the curb, shall we? Don't worry about how your dreams stack up to the goals of others. You're the only one who gets to live your life. Write some thoughts on page 16, check those boxes off, and on page 17. Imagine yourself many years from now, maybe 60, maybe 80, maybe 100, or maybe for you it's helpful to look at a specific point, maybe at retirement or when your kids have all left the house. Looking back on your life, where will you be grateful you spent your time and attention? Defining this will give you motivation and passion to live out this vision now with your 2023 goals. Are you surprised by what you wrote down on these pages about what will have mattered and who you wanna be? Good, this is a discovery process, so let's keep going. All right, 90 Day Power Sheets users, jump back in here. Let's flip over to pages 18 and 19 in your one year power sheets and 14 and 15 in your 90 day power sheets. These are my favorite pages in the power sheets. One thing we all need help with is connecting the big picture to living it out today. These pages are your chance to connect the big picture vision for each area of your life with ideas for how you might cultivate that out and live it out in the year ahead. So what specific steps might you take that are aimed toward your long-term vision? This page is flexible. Just use a few words or sentences or get more specific if you like. But first, just take a minute with me and close your eyes. Close your eyes right now and think about this. What is your big picture vision of each area of your life? Think about when you're 80 or 90. What's going to matter or what will have mattered to you about your finances, about your wellness, your family? Don't overthink this, but what's going to have mattered to you? And then how can you start living it out this year or in the next 90 days? Remember, it really is the small things that are the big things and that can add up to a legacy over time. So what is it for you? What is the big picture vision for each category, each area of your life? And then write out a few ideas for 2023. Remember, we're not writing goals yet, but what are some ideas for you to live them out this year? When you're ready, turn over to pages 20 and 21 in one year power sheets and 16 and 17 in 90 day power sheets. Remember, dreams become decisions when you cultivate them. This is a truth we want you to remember forever. All of the dreaming you've done on the last pages, the first step to making them a reality is deciding what matters, deciding what your focus and priority will be. And that's what we're gonna do on page 21 in one year power sheets or 17 in 90 day power sheets. In the one year power sheets, page 20 is a dot grid on purpose. Use it as a flexible space to brainstorm or sketch or work out some ideas, whatever you need. Now for the make decisions page. You're ready to make some decisions about where you'll spend your time this year or season and where you won't. On this page, you're gonna say yes to what matters in the year or season ahead and no to the things that will hold you back. You're gonna name what matters and we want you to be bold. Are you ready to do this? I am too. We all have a finite amount of time in our lives, right? Saying yes to some things requires us to say no to other things, even good things sometimes. So when you're filling this out, write down the things that you want to grow. This may be repetitive for you, but that's a good thing. Go back to all the things you've written down so far. What are you saying yes to on your what fires you up list, on the lessons you learned last year? And what are you saying no to? Maybe something that didn't go so well. In writing these things down, you're making decisions about how you're gonna spend your time in 2023. We're so excited for you. Take your time filling this out, okay? We're saying yes to giving you a virtual high five. There you go. You're doing such great work here. And friends, that brings us to the end of our section for today. In the next video, we're gonna talk more about our goals, different types of goals and how they work together, 
and we're going to spend some time brainstorming what goals you might want to set for 2023. It's gonna be wonderful, so get excited. We cannot wait for what's next in part four. See you then, bye. bye.